Hi everybody, and today what I want to do is I want to show you how you can properly test your antenna coax cable um, to make sure that it doesn't have any internal shorts or any um, damage uh, whatsoever. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a digital multimeter like I have here, um, and you want to make sure that it's actually set to the ohm setting. So what we're going to be doing is a couple of continuity checks uh, on the coax cable itself to ensure that the cable is good. Okay, so assuming you got your multimeter, you got a, your piece of coax cable, um, the first thing you want to do is, you, like I say, you want to make sure you're on ohms. And what I like to do generally is just touch the two probes together here. Okay, and you want to make sure that there's nothing wrong with your probe leads or anything like that. And when you do that, you could see you should have right around zero ohms. So basically a dead short which makes sense because we're touching the two wires together, okay? There may be a little resistance due to the wire, but that's about it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to check to make sure, notice on your coax cable here, you have um, your coax nut, and you have this little internal um, connector, or what I call it, a stinger, that runs right through the whole entire cable to the other end of it. Hopefully you can see that there. And... What you want to make sure is that the stinger or the piece of copper running through the middle of the coax cable is not shorted internally to the shield wire which wraps the entire cable. So this nut here is actually, when you terminate this, um, is actually connected to the shielding and then that provides a ground path for your coax cable. So you want to make sure that this internal stinger here is not shorted to your connector or your shield internally in the cable. So to do that, what you can do is I'm just going to put one probe on the actual connector nut here, and I'm going to put one probe on the stinger. Okay, oops, you got to be careful here not to touch the sides. Uh, but you can see here that I'm showing OL, or I have an infinite impedance here, and basically it's, it's acting like an open circuit, which is what we want. We don't want to have any continuity or path to the shield cable running on the outside of the coax cable to this internal connector or stinger, okay? So that's checking out okay. So the next thing I wanna do, I'm gonna grab one of these, what they call alligator clips. And of course, you wanna test to make sure your alligator clip is okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna test this, because you always wanna test your equipment and make sure that I should have basically zero ohms there or a dead shore, which is exactly what I have. So I know this alligator clip is okay. And what I wanna do, I'm just gonna set these down for a second. I wanna actually put one of the clips right on the internal stinger here, okay? And I wanna put another clip on the coax nut here, okay? So I'm what I'm effectively doing is shorting these two things together. And what I wanna do at the other end of my cable now is check to make sure then I'm reading that short all the way through the cable. So I know that my my uh, shielding is intact and my internal stinger connector is intact there. That's running right through the cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And again, be careful not to touch. And I should see very near, maybe a little bit of resistance there, but that's okay. You can see it's jumping around a little bit, um, but you should see very near uh, a dead short there. And that's exactly what we see. Okay, so I know now that this coax cable is good and I can go ahead and install it on my antenna. So I hope you found this video informative and uh, thank you for watching.